Well, except the sight of, of Mount Olympus is something I don't think uh, we'll ever forget. The low-hanging clouds and the, the mist at the top of the mountain and the snow caps and the sun shining through the peaks of the mountain. It was simply beautiful. It was very ethereal. It was something that that we have never seen before. I don't think it was something that, that, that any other mountain would, would appear the same way to us again. It was just beautiful. And the castle, the castle was, was very, it looked like a movie set almost, something that might be used for a very spooky Alfred Hitchcock movie, especially the little turret of uh, the lone, the one turret of the castle that was remaining where the birds were flocking all around and, and nesting at, at the top. But uh, we enjoyed our little excursion. Of course, we were a little bit out of breath after climbing that hill because you have to be in, in good shape with all the walking and the climbing that's uh, entailed in, in sightseeing in Greece. But uh, we enjoyed uh, the whole excursion very much. Ernie, is there anything else you'd like to add? It seems strange that the Greeks were the yeah, first. And they had Florence, this, this beautiful architecture with the columns like you find in the Acropolis and the Parthenon. But in general, Greek architecture is, is very different from this. You never see the columns. You never see that, that beautiful floral uh, design in the architecture also that you find and the ancient ruins of the, the Hellenic uh, structures. You don't find that in the... the they all look like bathhouses at Coney Island, <laughs> or, or um, Coney Island, Jones Beach, or something like that. No, no style at all. There. And, and they have a, a drab yellow paint on the majority of the houses here. They don't have the, the color that we have in the United States, in our houses. Everything is a drab yellow. 